happy Monday. It is technically a federal holiday, but my butt is busy today. <laughs> today, is, today is a busy day. So the past few days, I've been a little hectic um, and I've been trying to get some writing in between all the hecticness. Today, I'm definitely gonna be getting writing done for the ghostwriting project because I am meeting with Tiffany this afternoon backstage for like a co-working session. So we are going to get stuff done. I am going to get writing done. My goal is to hopefully hit 5K words today at least. So we'll see. Um, I'm running a little behind on the ghostwriting project. Um, so I need to catch up for sure. Tonight, tonight is the stream. Heather is joining. I'm really excited about that. Heather's going to be one of my co-hosts on screen and she's going to be on screen for the first time with uh, others from the group. So I'm really excited about that. Um, and that's where I'll get hopefully more writing done though. To be honest, when you're streaming and you're the host of a stream, it is a lot harder to focus because all the back end buttons and things you're paying attention to just make it really difficult to kind of focus on actually getting some writing done. So hopefully I will have hit 5K or close to 5K by the time I finish my sessions with Tiffany. And then if anything, if I haven't hit 5K yet, then hopefully I'll get to 5K by the end of the stream. So that is the goal of today. I am tired. I am, it is what it is. So I'm gonna get some admin stuff out of the way first. And then I will get into prepping for my session with Tiffany, which is in, in like an hour-ish and something, I think. I think. Um, so I need to get on the roll, on the ball. I'm tired. Coffee hasn't kicked in yet. Okay. Okay, bye. So Heather sent me a surprise that arrived yesterday and it is so freaking cute trying to like change the glare. But look at it. Okay, so what is it? It's a 3D bookend. So it's a bookend for a bookshelf. Oops. Okay, everything's wrong. So you build it and you put the pieces together and this one's supposed to come out like that so it goes in between like the little books it's so cute and I'm so freaking excited we're gonna build it she has one that she's been building and um we're gonna build it together on a video call on Tuesday so I'm really excited I'll show you guys what it looks like when we finish Happy Tuesday. Yeah. I have Zara Hoffman's stream at Inimitable Books YouTube today at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard. Hopefully I end up seeing some of y'all there. And then later today I will be hanging out with Heather. I don't know if I've mentioned that Heather is my best friend. We've known each other <laughs> It's been over a decade and uh, we've, we've had one hell of a history <laughs> and we've our friendship has been tested so many times and we're on the other side of it. We're still very close. So she lives all the way in the West Coast. I live literally all the way in the East Coast. So we are going to be hanging out via video call. So that will be happening. Hoping to get some writing done I got some writing done yesterday. I got almost 4,000 words, so that was good. Hopefully within Zara's stream at Inimitable Books, I can get a good thousand done, preferably more, but I'm gonna set, I'm gonna set for the stream a thousand as the goal. And then yeah, 
we'll see how the rest of today goes again this might be a short video because uh the week was still a little hectic my brother is doing better so thank you everyone for your well wishes and your prayers and just all your kind words and i appreciate each and every one of you thank you truly so much and my mother is doing better and we are on the other side of the hump so uh trying to get back into the swing of things and um yeah that's that's pretty much the update so i will keep you guys updated she's gonna keep saying the word update let her you know. yeah okay bye hey youtube so it is still tuesday i had my stream with sarah from inimitable books earlier today at three eastern time and i am waiting to get together with heather we're going to get together and put this sucker together so i'm excited it's a 3d bookend so if you see here this is what you build and then you can put your books on either side of it it's super cute and i'm really excited we are going to build that together on a video call because she has one that she's been building so she's got to finish hers so we'll do them together um what else this is another week that caught up with me so there is not a lot going on it's none of that business oh i'm still recording <laughs> So the last two days I've gotten some good progress when it comes to the ghostwriting gig. I wrote 3,753 words yesterday and today I wrote 3,025 words. Now the goal was, still is, to try to aim to get 5,000 words a day. I haven't quite gotten to that point yet but that's what I hope to get. Um, the further down the line I go with the story because I have a certain deadline that I have plenty of time for, but I definitely wanna get it done before that timeline. I don't wanna feel myself rushing at the last second. I would prefer to calmly finish the story and also have time to review it because every three to five chapters I'm kind of going, since it's a long project, I'm going back every three to five chapters to edit it and then continue drafting because it's it's going to be a lot. It's going to be too much at the end to go over from scratch and try to edit in a full go. So that is the strategy I have so far. Someone asked me um, in a comment, which by the way, guys, I'm so sorry. I have been seriously behind on responding to your comments the last couple weeks i again life has been a little crazy so uh, if you commented please know i seriously cherish your comments they make my day they're truly the best and i am so grateful for each and every one of you who actually watch these videos and take the time to comment so thank you i will be commenting back very soon but just know that I see your comments. I'm not ignoring them. I will respond to them. I'm sorry that they've been delayed. But one of the comments asks, how do I get, um, how am I getting ghostwriting gigs and things like that because they've been trying and it's difficult. It is absolutely, I am with you on the fact that it is difficult to finally get that going. I spent the first few months just sending out proposals now here's the thing fiverr is not working for me i mean i'm not giving up on it i'm still gonna continue monitoring it but fiverr's not really doing it for me upwork surprisingly because i have to send proposals for jobs that is what got me my gig and a couple gigs before that so upwork is for me personally a little more lucrative than Fiverr so far. And the way I got this gig was sending proposals every day, taking the time to look at the job offers, look at the different gigs that are available, trying to match the ones that will best suit what I can provide as a service and 
sending out proposals for the job. So just got to be consistent with sending out those proposals as, as best as you can. Because I know with Upwork, you only get a certain amount of connect points. And um, so try to conserve those as much as you can because you need them to send out proposals. Um, there, if there's a lot of like six connect point jobs, try not to propose those because then your points are gonna go quickly. There are some that are only two to four um, connect points. So that makes your points last longer. I don't fully understand the pro like the whole system of those points and how they get added to your account because I'll be down like six points left and then I'll log in one day and I'm back up to 17 and I don't fully know how that happened so I don't understand their system I haven't really looked into it also so but just try to be consistent with your proposals and something will bite but again, that's on Upwork. On Fiverr, nothing's really been coming my way. And I have, I believe, a pretty decent portfolio. And I did a lot of studying on kind of visually how your profile should look like. And I think mine is pretty decent. But again, that's just... And then I'm hearing something about AI is now affecting Fiverr, of course. So... That's interesting, gonna look into that and see what's going on there. But Upwork so far has been what has worked for me. Um, I tried also through LinkedIn, but through LinkedIn I got sent a couple scams. So I don't trust LinkedIn if anyone contacts me for a job um, because again, they're usually scams, unfortunately. So right now my main source of jobs that I'm looking for is through Upwork. It does kind of suck that Upwork takes such a huge chunk of your money. Um, so try not to get anything too lowballing because Upwork is gonna take a good portion of your, of your payment. So there's a few things to look out for, but I wish you all the luck and I hope just send out those proposals and hopefully something bites really soon. It took me a couple months before anything finally bit. And again, that was with me consistently trying to send out uh, proposals as much as I could. So I hope that helped. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, some of you are watching who are not subscribed, please subscribe so you don't miss out on next week's video. I stream Mondays at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard, right by the moon live streams every Monday at 8 p.m. Did I say that? Probably. And I have a red bubble shop that you guys can check out and all the things. Thank you so much for, again, all your kind words, all your understanding for the last few weeks that have been a little hectic. Like I said earlier, my brother is doing better. Um, so I'm very grateful for that. My mom is as well and just trying to get back into a groove of things. So I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I will see you all very soon.